Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Hey, wanted to do another getting started in lawn care. The best first trailer that I could recommend to you guys for getting your lawn care landscaping business started. Now, one thing that I wanted to do is kind of do a little series for you guys. As you guys may have just watched, uh, my best first lawnmower for a new lawn care business owner, right? That was the uh, Xmark Turf Tracer. And by the way, I really appreciate you guys weighing in on that video with what you guys think is a best first lawnmower as well. A lot of you guys uh, talked about stand-on units, walk-behinds, uh, 30 to uh, maybe 48 inch units, whether they're a zero turn or a stand-on unit, uh, those are great first lawnmowers. And again, I'm not really uh, any specific brand loyal, I do like my X marks, but nonetheless it's really cool seeing you guys weigh in on the best first lawnmowers on that video. Phase two or part two that I wanted to do for you guys was share with you my best favorite trailer that's about a thousand dollars or less. Now uh, again, I know there's a lot of people are going to have a lot of opinions out there about a best first trailer. This is just my opinion and my experience. In fact, it's a very relatable experience because 10 years ago, I got started picking up one of these trailers from Tractor Supply Company as my first trailer. And you know what? We did very well with it for the first three years. We did outgrow it, as you guys can imagine. But you know what? It was a great first trailer. What I wanted to do is just take a few minutes with you guys and share with you my thoughts and opinions and just kind of show you these trailers really quick. By the way, I did run it by Tractor Supply Company to shoot this video, so I do want to say a big thank you to those guys. They're definitely a great company. They have some great customer service, and they're very popular, obviously being a national retailer. They're all around the country, so you know what? It's a very practical uh, buy as well for some of you guys who are maybe just getting started, uh, weekend warrior, maybe cutting a few lawns at the end of the day after your nine to five job, and you don't want to throw down two, three, four thousand dollars on a nice uh, open top utility type trailer. You can invest in one of these guys and skate by no problem for a handful of years until you maybe you want to invest and go from there. And by the way, after you are, are doing lawn care landscaping, these trailers are super practical for tons of other reasons, whether it's storage, moving things, uh, four wheelers, uh, different uh, vehicles that you can put on it. So they're very practical, very useful trailers even after uh, you're doing the lawn care landscaping game. Now first up what I wanted to show you guys is one of the very first trailers. This is $569. It's a four foot by seven open mesh trailer. Now, one thing I'll let you guys know, these are all one and seven eighths couplers, so you are gonna need a smaller ball than like the standard two or two and five sixteenths. Now again, most of these are gonna have smaller tires. Again, you're gonna get what you pay for, but if you're just a weekend warrior or you're just getting started in business, trailers like this can go a long way. You have the angle iron versus tool, uh, tube top, so that's where you're gonna have some cost savings. Uh, you're not gonna have the heaviest duty axles. These are probably 1,500 to 1,600 pounds rated, but you know what, they're still practical because you can put a, a good stand on mower on there and definitely a rider on there and not uh, break the bank when it comes to weight because these axles are still gonna be able to carry that payload. Now over here in the corner is one of their five by eight trailers. This was actually my very first trailer and I actually went with the mesh one because uh, I like the fact that the grass clippings could fall down and I could blow them back into the property that I was doing versus having a wood floor version. Now the wood floor version I think is about 70 or 80 dollars more around $830 but dude I'm telling you definitely a great value and purchase nonetheless again you're gonna have LED lights wrapped all the way around this thing and one thing that's really really cool is these mesh gates are four foot ramps and you know what there's plenty of space back here to put signage on here if you want to get uh, your business name cut out and put uh, on a piece of plastic obviously from a local print shop that can just expand your opportunity to get so many more customers by having signage on the back of your trailer with this nice four foot mesh ramp. Now, one thing I also appreciate the fact is that you have the extra support angle irons going through here. Instead of just two, you've got three supports on this trailer and that's really gonna help when you're going up and down the ramp to provide extra rigidity on the mesh ramp uh, so the mower wheels are gonna go through here and not just bow out the mesh before you know it. Uh, and then you're gonna have saggy uh, uh, mesh wire fencing here that's going to pop, the welds are gonna break over time. So this extra reinforced angle iron is is super practical and uh, just a really well thought out little design. The lights right here, you got little LED lights that are running through uh, a little tube all the way down as you guys can see. Uh, these right here are also extremely easy to replace. Believe it or not, you are gonna have accidents while you're out there, and you know what? Being able to replace these lights for 20 or $30 by just cutting
cutting off the wires a little bit and replacing these. Very, very simple. Very uh, good for a new person or just a weekend warrior to make little uh, repairs like this versus maybe dropping it off at your local trailer dealer and having them have your trailer for a couple hours or a couple days. Now one thing that I would make as a suggestion is throw down for the extra 80 bucks for the wood floor in this capacity because this floor is going to outlast the mesh floor a lot longer and you know what you can replace these boards every four or five years if you need to at a very cheap uh, investment. Again I like that they have a powder coat finish you can uh, get a black high gloss spray paint and touch this up once a year. Again, I think these are just a great investment for somebody getting started in the lawn care landscaping business. And you know what, you don't have a lot to invest, but you still want a decent trailer that could get you going for the first couple of years. Again, a cool perk is that all these uh, trailers here, any parts you need are going to be readily available at your local tractor supply. And for the most part, we probably have one accessible to us within a 30 minute radius versus potentially driving further if you have to go to a authorized trailer dealer that's gonna sell more higher end trailers. Now obviously this is not a setback jack so be very careful if you're dropping your tailgate on your truck but you know what for $800 price point or less for the trailer to include a jack I think that's a great value uh, so this right here is gonna be very convenient obviously if you're taking the trailer on and off your truck and you know if you want to store this in the back of your garage or the, the back side of your property you can move these trailers around very easily. Now obviously over here here with the angle iron you're still able to uh, put on trailer racks for your lawn care business so if you have blower racks trimmer racks gas can racks you can still easily weld or bolt those to a trailer like this with that angle iron and you know what have a nice little setup for under a thousand dollars still so all things being said guys I really do like the tractor supply trailers I'm curious to know what you guys think are some great first investment type trailers for somebody who is a weekend warrior or their first couple of years in the lawn care landscaping business are they high-end trailers? Absolutely not, but you know what? If you're just doing this on the side or it's your first year or two in business and you don't have a lot of money to spend, I think this would be a great trailer to buy for under a $1,000 price point. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this quick video. Again, just trying to do a little bit different kind of a video for you guys and a little series here. Uh, looking back on things, that was my first trailer, and you know what? We took on at least 50 clients and we're making some pretty good money, even at 22, 23 years years old not having a clue what we were doing uh, with a tractor supply trailer it's still a great investment by the way I ended up selling that trailer for about three hundred dollars so I recouped 25 30 percent of my investment back out of that trailer uh, and it was already after we used it for three or four years so they do hold up uh, it's still a really good investment and you know what you can always sell it later on because these kind of trailers are very practical very useful for multiple people out there not just guys in the lawn care landscaping business so it's a good investment you can always get out of it if you need to uh, so in my opinion it's the greatest first buy trailer that I could recommend to you guys for under a thousand dollars all right guys I'm gonna wrap this one up hopefully you enjoyed this video uh, you know it just uh, kind of makes me smile thinking about my first trailer man and uh, kind of seeing how far we came and uh, you know I just really appreciate the ability to shoot a video like this for you guys uh, a decade later and just uh, provide you guys uh, just some fun uh, encouraging ideas for you if you're in the market for your first trailer so all things being said two parts here wanted to say a big thank you to you guys for checking out this video and supporting us and uh, of course leave me a comment down below love to hear your guys thoughts on what you think is a great first trailer or if you even own this trailer let me know if it's held up, if you like it, uh, and even if not, let me know. Uh, again, I've got no skin in the game, but I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Is this one of the first trailers that you happen to buy? I guarantee you there's somebody else out there just like me that got started with a trailer like this. Part number two, I want to say a big thank you to Tractor Supply Company for uh, allowing me to shoot a video like this. I don't take it for granted. I did go through the chain of command, so I wanted to say a big thank you to those guys for letting us shoot on their property and to share this with our lawn care community. All right, guys, over and out. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to shoot a big thumbs up I really appreciate that if you're new to the channel we're always giving out business tips and advice and mindset like this and showcasing product and different gear and equipment out there for the lawn care landscaping industry so don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new all right guys over and out Brian here and Brian's Law Maintenance we'll catch you guys on the next one bye bye